what is up guys welcome back to another video so at the current time of shooting this video hopefully I can release this video during Christmas or one day after Christmas so I just want to say Merry Christmas to you guys hopefully you and your family are safe and everyone is enjoying themselves this Christmas so by the title of this video you guys can already guess what I'm going to talk about today it's none other than the PlayStation 5. So this hot item right here has been the main item that many many people want to get for their Christmas. But it's currently sold out right now and I've been using the PS5 for roughly only about 24 hours. So this is my initial review of the PlayStation 5. Without further ado, let's get straight to the unboxing of the PlayStation 5. Alright guys, so I've taken the PS5 out of my TV console for this specific video but basically I got the PS5 on the 24th of December and today is the 25th of December at the time of recording so I've been using the PS5 for roughly about 24 hours and I just want to say that it's an absolute beast of a console now I know a lot of reviewers I've talked about the PS5 already, so I'm just gonna skip to the good part. So first things first, uh, I want to talk something bad about the PS5 before I get to the good parts. So the first thing, and I think the only thing bad about the PS5 is the storage capacity. So it is 825 gigs, and it comes preloaded with Astro's Playroom. So with that, you have not much storage. So I've installed. FIFA 21, a PS4 game which is Sonic Racing and I'm about to install Spider-Man Mouse Morales so after all this installing with more AAA titles coming like Assassin's Creed which is already out which I'm hopefully planning to get soon and more AAA titles coming out very very shortly the space in the PS5 is gonna run out very very soon so hopefully Sony does come up with a solution to fix the storage inside like providing external SSD storage that will be super super amazing so I do have one solution for Sony is to actually use a Samsung SSD for us that would be absolutely amazing so this is one terabyte so basically you should be able to store a lot a lot of games on this Samsung SSD. So hopefully in the future, you can store games on the certified SSD. Alright, enough of the bad things, let's talk about the good things about the PlayStation 5. So obviously as you can tell from my PlayStation 5 and the box from the earlier clip, it's black in colour, so which means it's the digital edition. Now obviously why did I get a digital edition? That is because it looks much better compared to the disc edition. As you can see there is no you know this at the side and it's just more flush, it looks more beautiful this way and when it's placed beside my TV it looks absolutely gorgeous as well. So that's why I got a digital edition. Also I don't really plan on going out to get games like the disc games so everything is getting online at the PlayStation store. This is why I went with the digital edition only but that's why I said that there's not going to be enough storage years down the road so hopefully like I said hopefully Sony does introduce the external SSD for us to store all our PS5 games that would be absolutely amazing so number one thing I love about the PS5 definitely the design even though it is huge and chunky it is amazing like the flush design looks like a router but at the same time looks like a spaceship also when you turn the console on it does give a blue 
illuminating light. She looks absolutely crazy and insane. Looks good. Number one, definitely the design. Number two would be the load times. The PS5 loads insanely quickly. So games, for example, like FIFA 21 loads absolutely fast. Like I said, the snap of my fingers. Go through the menu super super quickly as well. So that's absolutely amazing. Actual playroom as well. It takes like what five seconds to load up the main screen and go up, go into the game immediately. Like I said, it's my initial review, so I haven't tested Spider-Man Miles Morales yet. But from what I've seen, it does load Spider-Man Miles Morales absolutely quick as well. So the second thing that I love about the PlayStation 5 is definitely the load times. Now we definitely have to address one thing that is super super important about the PS5 that makes the PS5 next gen. That is obviously the PlayStation 5 controller. We got this beauty right here. This PlayStation 5 controller is absolutely amazing. Games does not deserve this controller as well. Only one game does justice to this controller. And of course, you guys already know what it is. You have watched enough reviews about the PS5. That is the actual playroom that comes pre-installed on the PS5. Now you do have to try it for yourself. Like when the PS5 does become widely available in stores and you can try it for yourself, do definitely try out actual playroom. I'm telling you right now, it is amazing. Like the controllers when you play actual playroom, it vibrates like insane. When you walk on land, you walk on grass, you walk on sand, you walk on water. It's insane. Sorry, not walk on water. When you swim on water, in water, sorry. So when you swim in water, it definitely feels different when you walk on the sand. So that is amazing that the DualSense controller can actually pick this up. Now it's a weird feeling and you really, really have to try it for yourself. Like I said, I can't show you this through camera because it's really, really difficult. But basically, I would say that the DualSense controller is a step up from the DualShock 4 controller which is honestly subpar compared to the Xbox One controllers that Microsoft has been killing for the past few years. But Sony definitely step up their game with the DualSense controller. It is insane. There's even a microphone built in into the controller so you can talk to your friends when you're playing games so that's absolutely amazing. So, so a touchpad and this one is amazing for us content creators. So this is a capture mode. So basically what that does is that you can record photos and video with just this button. So you press that button and you can record a screenshot or record a video and you can choose the resolution that you want which is absolutely amazing. So I would say this DualSense controller great for gamers and great for our content creators as well. So that should be it for my initial review. I just want to say that I haven't really tried out real tracing yet. That will be for my full PlayStation 5 review hopefully in a month or two months that I actually get to play the games many many games like Spider-Man, Miles Morales, Assassin's Creed, all the big AAA titles. Right now I've only tried Astro's Playroom. I played Astro's Playroom the entire day and I would say it's an extremely fun game with minimal difficulty at first but when you get to the higher levels or when you play the games at the end it does get super super interesting and it is quite difficult to clear the game. So I would say number one you should definitely try Astro's Playroom when the PS5 becomes widely available in stores. Should you get the PS5 if you have the chance to absolutely I think the PS5 is an absolute cracker of a console. If you can get it, you should definitely get it. I would recommend uh, actually the digital edition because right now you know the pandemic going on. You can't really go out to stores to buy these games and it is more convenient to get it at the PlayStation Store. So I recommend 
getting the this edition because it is so much easier to just put it in a TV console compared to the uh, this edition because the this edition has that large Blu-ray disc at the side it's incredibly difficult to put in this is more slim and more compact so you should be able to put it in a TV console I have it vertically standing up next to my TV like a bit further away from the TV but I prefer it vertical so I can't really put it in my TV console but anyways that is all for today's video hopefully you guys enjoyed it you should definitely get the PS5 if you can get it this year hopefully next year Sony restocks more PS5s and everyone can get their PS5 alright that is all for today hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did, do subscribe to my channel, like this video, turn on the bell notification icon so you don't miss my PS5 full review in one to two months, hopefully. Thank you guys so much for watching and I shall see you guys in my next video. Take care and goodbye.